channel today and we are doing a brand new sims 4 creative sim video today and so today is definitely going to be a really great day just because i have a story for this family but i'm also very excited to say that i have recorded over 14 videos already for this brand new series that i'm going to start on my channel very soon which is the first of many this one right here where i give townie cast townie makeovers so if you don't remember a couple months ago either before or after get famous was out there was a patch update where if you went to create a sim there were some actual well-dressed townies randomized well-dressed townies i was shocked and very excited about that so i took it upon myself to basically go through the entire sims 4 for about five hours save them all to my um library and give them all makeovers so this is the first of many that i have done so far and i'm very excited for this one so if you guys want to see more stuff like this more creative sims like in the sims 4 or sims 2 maybe sims 3 let me know in the comments below and i will try my best to get those out for you because your boy has got all A's on his midterms and no longer has six classes and now I can focus a lot more a lot more time on YouTube and Twitch and record videos daily and get things done because I've been slacking for the past eight weeks but now lo no longer I'm slacking I'm bringing it back to a to a regular schedule so hopefully you have that notification bell turned on so you never miss a video from me cool right yeah either way anyway so this video is one of my favorites because i've already gave their apartment a makeover and they are called the jordan family the main sim right now is called salvatore jordan and his three-year-old toddler daughter named marlia jordan his wife passed away about two years ago in a terrible car accident very sad very tragic i know but ever since that time but a year and two are passing Salvatore wasn't in the best like mindset at all when like they were together but also it kind of took a turn when she died so like it became even more worse and so what Salvatore did is that he decided to go ahead and sell his house in Newcrest pack up all his things and move to San Machino in the arts district where Salim used to live and I kicked him out moved them in renovated their apartment and he is doing much well for himself because he used to be in the military and he still is now but he was like on the verge of actually getting fired from the military or like dishonorably discharged from the military for the lack of participation his actions and kind of his overall attitude about all things what's been going on in his job and like they've noticed his like mood changing lately since his wife has passed and they decided to give him a bit of a slack and since the move, it's been a year since the move, and he's doing better. He has a lovely daughter, and he is actually, I believe, either the fourth or fifth level of his career in the military career, which I'm very, very happy about, and he's doing great. His daughter's about to go to preschool soon, and I've been playing them off camera for a while, and I'm just pretty proud on how well he's, he's, he's been doing. Great time. He's not very comfortable in dating right now because even though it's been two years, he doesn't want to date people until Marley is like a little bit older to understand like what's really going on with his with, with her father, but also like the whole situation about his mother, his her mother passing away and where they're living and how well things are gonna go. So he's trying to bring up that conversation when she gets older and when she gets to that point in her life she'll understand and he'll understand on how to move on and like be happy and all i really want him to do is to find love but also take care of his daughter but also be who he wants to be and be happy for himself because if he's not happy he won't truly he won't truly find true love on its on his own unless someone basically forces him to go out and about in public to find somebody because i know i know for a fact speaking the truth right now spilling the tea his br his not br not brother his brother is like eh. his friend greg greg mcgregor <laughs> i know right weird name greg mcgregor let me tell you right now he is the worst friend of all time because i'm not kidding not kidding at all he signed up salvatore on the simda dating app without his permission and ever since then it's been two weeks two weeks since then salvatore has been getting calls from these random people every single day 
and I'm on the verge of actually going insane with like these like unsolicited phone calls and you know these like random people saying hey my name's so and so do you want to go to the like you know to the llama hangout in windenburg or whatever or you know you want to go to this like nice restaurant in newcrest like no i have a three-year-old daughter to take care of she's three years old i have to potty train her i have to teach her how to walk and do all these different things i don't have time to socialize and even though he has like money in the bank he doesn't have a lot of money he's living like paycheck to paycheck basically right now until he has like a well like good income and even though he's in the military and it pays well he still has to pay like you know the, the stuff from like you know the funeral it's been two years but like the funeral the hospital bills the um child support or, yeah hospital bills funeral a lot of like legal personal stuff that he has to pay for basically and it's taking like taking him a lot more than he's used to and now that he's like he's living like on one paycheck it's hard so i can relate be so life goes on you take one step at a time as long as you do it right you'll be okay so that's my spiel greg is trash i really hate him you'll see him soon because i have a create i have a current household video coming soon that I have to record and let me tell you Greg is the worst and I don't like him for basically signing Salvatore up for the Simda dating app and let me tell you Salvatore has had three dates three dates and um none of them went well besides one of them one of them the last one the third date let's just say this lovely person this lovely person we're not gonna call any names here Decided to call Salvatore up at 3 a.m. in the morning when his daughter was asleep, fast asleep. Got a phone call saying, hey, Salvatore, my name's blankety blank blank. Do you want to go to the nightclub here in Sam, as you know, in the Spice District? I was like, okay, sure. Called a babysitter. Totally fine. Paid them well. Left, went to the, went to the nightclub, had a fun time. I didn't feel as, in, I didn't feel good about it until I came home they called me again right after the date at let's say 7 a.m. in the morning right before my daughter went to school for the preschool got they called me and they said I had a really great time last night at the bar it was a great time let's hang out again I had no recollection of who this person was until I started to realize hold up that's my um ex-girlfriend from high school she was actually nuts nuts like n-u-t all caps nuts about salvatore and when i found that out i was like oh wait now i know why she, i broke up with her because she's actually literally crazy a psychopath Cl she climbed into salvatore's second story window in the middle of the night watching him while he sleeps so I wasn't happy about that she got a little bit paranoid where she thought that he was going to leave her for like another person but in retrospect she was just actually just literally crazy and needed some like professional medical help and so ever since then she found us found where i live and now i kind of want to move so yeah that's the tea sis you're welcome welcome back to my channel but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below. As always, if you guys want to see more creative sim videos like this, more tea to spill, let me know. I have so much tea to spill about these about the Jordan family and all his acquaintances about his life. Either way, I'm gonna go ahead and actually wrap up this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below as always on what you guys want to see next in this series. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye. Thank you.